On the 25th of July last year, Marek Heko returned to the scene where he had murdered an innocent father. He barely knew the victim, Adrian Ellingford, but he murdered him because of his association to his former partner and the police believed that he was stalking her. When he returned to the scene, he was heavily drunk and he started to go with the police and he explained to them that he knew stuff about the investigation. He even said that you may believe it's me and he also mentioned that he believed he ran the city. No, I know what happened. I know the people they involved. So, go again. Yeah. But need to dig deep, you know. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? I'm not gonna tell you my name. I don't give a f because I know what happened. I needed me to know, figure it out what happened. If you don't have me, you don't know what happened. I just know it. that some guy come here yeah. and he f***ed up some guy. I don't know what, what happened. Right. I don't know what happened. He just got f***ed. You're gonna think about me, but it's not gonna be me because there's no proof. So, so you think something's happened to a male in this address? No, I know what happened. What I happened then? Everything. Tell me what everything. happened. This city is mine. I'm not going to tell you. This city is yours, is it? Yeah, this city is mine. Can you get in the van, please? Uh, uh, um, You've been arrested, okay? We're trying. I've to, been arrested. Yes. Yeah, so send me the law. We're trying not. So, okay. We're trying send me. not to manhandle you, but we need you to get in the van. It was at this point that he talked himself into being arrested on suspicion of murder. The murder investigation started several hours before and at 4.30am Adrian was found seriously injured inside Nelson Grove, Chelmsford. The police said during the investigation they went through hundreds of lines of inquiry and they charged Heko with murder several days later. During the trial that started on the 13th of February this year at Chelmsford Crown Court, Heko tried to say that he turned up after he seen the story that was in the news but the police said that it was nowhere online or on social media at that point. Prosecution's case said that he was jealous of Adrian Ellingford because he was associating with his former girlfriend. On the 13th of March, a jury found him guilty of murder and he appeared on the 14th of March and was sentenced to 26 years in prison by the judge. The detective in charge of the case, Louise Metcalf, said, From the second the murder investigation started, our team have worked tirelessly to gather CCTV statements and also compile evidence to charge Heko. His family said that Adrian was a loving husband and son, caring brother and a friend to so many people. Adrian's death was a massive shock to the local area and everybody was very fond of Adrian. His wife said that he was an amazing husband of 17 years. Words cannot describe what happened on the 25th of July 2022. He was brutally ripped from our lives and we can't comprehend what he must have gone through in the final minutes of his life. Detective Inspector Metcalf says the trial has been very long and also extremely distressing for his family. Everybody has had to sit through and listen to the details of the case. So I want to send my condolences to the family of Adrian and this story is really interesting for a lot of reasons but also shows the dangers of alcohol and what it can lead you to do. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.